Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in today's lecture and uh, in next few lectures, we shall talk about synchronous motors. Uh, in today's lecture, we shall cover uh, these topics that is equivalent electrical circuit of a synchronous motor and the working of a uh, synchronous motor. Uh, physically, this uh, synchronous motor is uh, same as a synchronous generator. On the stator, we have a set of three phase coils placed 120 degrees apart from each other and the rotor is generally an electromagnet. In uh, synchronous motors, we connect three phase voltage sources to this uh, set of uh, three phase coils and uh, that uh, causes the current currents to flow in these coils and that produces a stator magnetic field and we have already shown that this stator magnetic field is rotating with synchronous speed uh, uh, and is of uniform magnitude. So there are two magnetic fields, one due to currents in the stator coils and another magnetic field due to this electromagnet. The interaction of these two magnetic fields induces a torque and that torque tends to rotate the rotor. The induced torque we have already derived the expression for induced torque that is given by K B R cross B S. So induced torque will be such that it will tend to align both the magnetic fields. Since this stator magnetic field produced by currents in the coils that is rotating with some synchronous speed, so this rotor magnetic field will chase it. That is, rotor will also start rotating with some synchronous speed. So as far as uh, construction of synchronous motors is, is, is concerned, that is quite uh, similar to that of synchronous generators. The difference is, in case of generators, we, we connect some kind of mechanical arrangement, a prime mover, which rotates the rotor, and that ro rotor, rotating magnetic field of the rotor induces three phase voltages in the coils. And when a uh, load is connected to the generator, current starts flowing in these coils and that current induces a stator magnetic field. So both in case of generators as well as in motors, there are two magnetic fields, rotor magnetic field and stator magnetic field. In case of motors, uh, we supply currents to these uh, three phase coils and that induces uh, this rotating magnetic field and uh, the interaction of the rotating magnetic field with this one induces a torque. Since uh, uh, the construction of uh, uh, synchronous motors is quite similar to that of a uh, uh, synchronous generator, therefore equivalent electrical circuit of synchronous motor is also uh, quite similar to that of synchronous generators. Uh, for uh, rotor circuit, we know that uh, uh, these are generally electromagnets. So equivalent circuit of rotor, uh, the resistance of field windings on the rotor and then the field windings are indicated by this coil. Uh, this is RF, LF. And uh, these uh, field windings are excited by a DC voltage source. And sometimes they also insert an additional variable resistor in series with field windings. With uh, this uh, additional resistor, we can control the field current. So this is excited by a DC voltage source. For the armature, due to induced torque, this rotor will start rotating and that will induce this rotor magnetic field will induce a voltages in these coils. So that voltage induced can be represented by a voltage source, internal generated voltage EA. Uh, these windings also have their resistance and uh, since we are dealing with AC quantities, the self-inductance of uh, these coils that also plays role. So we have inductive reactance due to uh, the self-inductance of these coils. In addition to that, uh, we have uh, armature reaction as we have already learned. And uh, that armature reaction can also be modeled by an inductive reactance. So in a, this inductive reactance due to self-inductance of these coils, and then another inductive reactance to model the armature reaction. 
So sometimes we can lump together these two inductive reactances together uh, and indicate them by a single inductor uh, denoted by JXS. This is RA. Uh, in case of a generator, this uh, internal generated voltage uh, causes the current to flow uh, into the load connected to the generator. Uh, and in case of motors, we have uh, external voltage source connected to the motor and that causes the current to flow in the motor. So basically here is uh, the difference between the equivalent electrical circuit of a generator, synchronous generator and that of a synchronous motor. That is the uh, direction of armature current. So this is the power phase equivalent electrical circuit of a synchronous motor. We have uh, three such phases and uh, these phases uh, uh, can be either connected uh, in delta configuration, configuration or these can also be connected in star configuration. So for a synchronous motor, uh, this V phase uh, that is equal to, this voltage is equal to voltage drop across this inductive reactance, voltage drop across this resistance plus this voltage. That is V phase is equal to, which can also be written in this form. Ea is equal to. So we have talked about the working principle of uh, synchronous motors. We have also talked about equivalent electrical circuit. Uh, this working principle can also be explained in another way, utilizing the phasor diagrams. To explain the working of uh, synchronous motors with the help of uh, phasor diagrams, let's uh, consider a situation. Uh, let's consider that this. Uh, machine is initially working as a synchronous generator. That is, we have connected some external prime mover to the rotor, which rotates the rotor at synchronous speed. And due to the rotor magnetic field, voltages are induced in uh, these coils. And then this armature is connected to an infinite bus, that is the power, electrical power generated by the generator is transmitted to infinite bus. Uh, what is an infinite bus? You know that uh, when uh, you connect uh, a load to a voltage source, if you connect some load over here, then depending upon the current in the load, the voltage that is available across the load, that changes depending upon the current because the voltage source also has its own internal resistance. Uh, what is an infinite bus? Infinite bus is a voltage source you can consider as a voltage source uh, for which the voltage remains constant independent of the load connected to that bus. So let's assume that this machine is working as a generator and the coils are connected to an infinite bus and supply the electrical power to that bus. Uh, in that case uh, when the current will flow in the coils uh, then due to that current we know that uh, uh, there will be a stator magnetic field and in uh, one of previous lectures we have obtained the phasor diagram for synchronous generator that was given by in case of uh, generators uh, Ea you remember that Ea was equal to uh, V phase plus Ia J I A X S. So this machine is uh, working as a synchronous generator. We have this phasor diagram. V phase connected with uh, some lagging load I A, and uh, we draw the simplified phasor diagram. Since R A is much less than X S, we can just omit uh, this phasor, and then. Uh, this thing perpendicular to Ia and your phasor sum is Ea. Uh, in the last lecture, we denoted this angle by delta the torque angle. 
the induced torque in the uh, this uh, synchronous generator will gi be given by this expression which is also equivalent to this relation where b net is the vector sum of these two flux density vectors that is we have uh, b net over here this is b net and this is also equal to k b r b net sine of delta where delta what is delta delta is angle between e a and v phase and this delta is also angle between b r and b net because uh, we remember that b net was responsible for producing v phase therefore b net the phase of our b net that is in phase with v phase the phasor for B net is in phase with this phasor and BR is responsible for generation of this voltage EA and therefore the phasor for BR that will be in phase with EA. And uh, that is BR. And the angle between these two phasors that is also equal to delta and what was phasor uh, for bs you remember remember that bs was responsible for production of j i a x s this voltage uh, with negative sign so phasor for bs will be 180 degrees from phasor for this uh, quantity that is uh, this is BS. When the machine is working as a generator, what is direction of rotation of rotor? Rotor is rotating in this direction as we learned earlier or uh, in this diagram in this direction. And what is direction of induced torque? Induced torque BR cross BS or BR cross B net. So, direction of induced torque is in clockwise direction. This induced torque is in clockwise direction. So, in case of synchronous generator, if rotor is rotating in counterclockwise direction, the direction of induced torque will be opposite to the direction of rotation, that is in clockwise direction. Now, suppose that uh, uh, when this uh, generator was, uh, this machine was working as a synchronous generator and suddenly the source of mechanical power connected to the rotor loses its power that is a uh, prime mover is suddenly removed from this rotor then what will happen to the machine uh, this uh, rotor was initially being rotated by the prime mover since the mechanical power that prime mover has now been removed the rotor will slow down however this magnetic field is due to current in these coils that will keep on rotating with synchronous speed that is after some time this uh, BR will lag behind BS because BS is rotating with synchronous speed the prime mover has been removed therefore BR will slow down and will lag BS that is we will have this situation so this will be the situation now uh, BS is rotating with the same speed BR has slowed down so BR will now lag BS and uh, the phasor sum of BR and BS that is B net and we call this angle the torque angle now what is situation what is direction of induced torque induced torque is BR cross B net this uh, BR cross B net is now uh, in clockwise direction and now this machine this machine will be working as a motor that the direction of rotation of the rotor is still the same counterclockwise direction and the direction of induced torque is now also counterclockwise direction and hence now this machine is working as a synchronous motor so here let me uh, clarify one misunderstanding which is generally there in uh, with some students. 
So some students think that if we change the direction of rotation of rotor uh, in a synchronous motor, that will become generator. So that is not the case. For both the cases, rotor is rotating in the same direction. In case of generators, this uh, rotor magnetic field leaves uh, both the net magnetic field as well as the stator magnetic field. And uh, in case of uh, motors, this stator magnetic field leaves the net magnetic field and rotor magnetic field. Therefore, in case of generators, the direction of induced torque is opposite to the direction of rotation of rotor. And in case of motors, the direction of induced torque is the same as direction of rotation of the rotor. That is, this induced torque causes the rotor to rotate in case of motors. Uh, we can also uh, draw the equivalent diagram of our electrical uh, phasors corresponding to this situation. We have uh, V phase and Ea and uh, uh, this produces I uh, Axs so this is J I A X S. and here is IE. 